Get those likes up, ladies and gentlemen. Get those likes up, ladies and gentlemen.
hours ticking. What's going on, fools? <laughs> I don't know why I called you guys fools. It is what it is. What's going on, fools? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with it. What's going on, fools? What's up, Mr. Hart? See Mike in here. Happy coffee day. Happy coffee day. It's the day before CPI. Let's talk about uh, what we can expect today. Bitcoin uh, got the pullback we're looking for. It just dropped a little bit further than I thought it was. Uh, but nevertheless, we'll, we'll see if we can get a bounce from this range. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. chance to hit those likes let's get the party started Going on, man. You guys always make me laugh in the pregame lobby, man. <laughs> Mike just said yo incoming. <laughs> yo, what's going? <laughs> yo, what's going on, man? What's going on, Mike? Hamilton, what's up? He said uh, having a laser show and foam party in your basement right now to this tune. Nice, nice. Skillful said smack up that like button, everyone. Yeah, guys, if you're new to the stream, make sure you uh, smack up the like button. You make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're gonna talk about some charts. We got the uh, CPI data that's coming out. Uh, tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. It usually comes out a little bit before. It's usually leaked uh, slightly before that. But um, we're seeing Bitcoin come down a little bit today. You guys can see the title of the stream, man. And I'm not saying this very lightly. Bitcoin is at a critical level for everything that I look at, okay? As far as if it breaks the relative level that it's at today on a daily close, uh, then that could spell a little bit of trouble going into tomorrow. Uh, but, 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 but. Let's jump into the charts. Without further ado, without further ado, let's jump onto the charts, my man. Uh, let's go on interactive. Interactive drunk? <laughs> okay, man. I appreciate you watching the stream when you're drunk, man. I, that, that actually is a great compliment. If you can watch the stream where you're drunk, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. I really want to see other numbers besides 22K and 23K. I agree. Even though we just did, we did get some 24K. Come, come on, Kennedy. Let's, let's, uh, let's keep it real just a little bit, man. By the way, guys, what, what are you drinking this morning? I got my I got my delicious coffee um, a, a, as we kind of sit here and look at some charts. Um, but uh, yeah, man, you always give your give your thanks and drink your coffee and uh, go from there. You know, I know you guys make fun of me for having the, the coffee mug with the saying on it. You guys are just jealous that you don't have this coffee mug. Okay, it's a beautiful color. It's like the color of shit, uh, it, and it has a saying on it. What what, what could be better than that, man? Ah. Uh. 
man. It's for a drunk bear. I only drink coffee. I got, I got you. I got you. I'm watching with a hangover. Nice place. All right. Anyways, let's jump into the charts. So you guys can see this. I mean, let's keep it real. Uh, let's keep it real. Uh, we have this upward sloping trend line of support that we want to see Bitcoin hold here. Okay. I'm actually going to show you something on the daily chart, which is, is slightly a little bit, uh, you know, everyone's sort of looking at the daily chart as a, uh, as a bear flag. And I, I just went back and, and I'm looking at where Bitcoin's getting support right now. And I'm sort of wondering, is Bitcoin actually in a rising wedge, which could change this uh, support line that we're looking at uh, quite, quite, quite tremendously, actually. Um, for we have one touch, we have two touches, we have three touches, we have four touches, we have five touches on the way back up here. We'll go back to the daily chart in just a second. But everything kind of ties in to the four hour chart that we're looking at right now. All right, so let's let's rewind back here. So uh, Bitcoin, right? Pretty clearly, you, you guys can see the support that we're getting um, on this trend line. We have one touch there. We got one touch here. We got one touch here. We got pretty three touches are over there, right? So you guys can see that if this is an important level for BTC. Is it also a coincidence? Is it a quinky dink? That Bitcoin's 50 EMA on the four hour time frame is coming in right at that level as well. I don't think so. I don't think so. And, and, and quite frankly, um, this, this, if you zoom out, all right, um, and, and you kind of just take it from this range right here, what kind of patterns does this look like we could be forming here in, in, in the more macro picture, if this level can hold? Because because it's obviously my, uh, my, 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 you know, <laughs> my uh, pre, how should, should I say this? My, uh, the, 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 I have my bearish things that I am looking at. We talk about it pretty much every day. But um, when we're getting that same resistance on the top side, okay, like this, and we're getting that same upward sloping support on the bottom side, like this, okay, what kind of pattern does that give us? Gives us a, a quite beautiful uh, ascending triangle pattern, okay? <laughs> quite, quite beautiful ascending triangle. Sumanth, come on, man. Sumanth, Sumanth, Sumanth. Samantha, I love you, buddy, but you got to stop spamming the chat with pointless shit, okay? <laughs> I, I, I I see the hype. I see the hype, but you got to stop doing it, my man, all right? I, I don't want to have to ban you again. All right, Samantha, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I, 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 I got I to gotta, uh, put you in timeout again, man. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Hopefully, you come back someday, and you, you, come out, you come back a better person. Just kidding. You are a great person. I'm sure you're a great person, but don't be spamming the chat, my man. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> free Samant. <laughs> I gotta get you out of here, buddy. Um, no, but uh, so it's a it's a classic ascending triangle pattern, right? But we need to see Bitcoin hold this support right here, man. It's as simple as this. We need to see Bitcoin hold that support. If it can and get a pump to the upside, which I do think it can. If we're actually looking at what Bit, uh, what we have to the upside here, you guys can see pretty clearly, right? That Bitcoin has this red vector candle right here now right which it just got a massive dump to the downside now you have this red vector which we know they come back and take those very often now it doesn't have to do it right now i want to make that clear but if we go based off of where we are where it's just clean support on the bottom side okay are we going to come back up and retrace this uh going into tomorrow that, that's the big question i mean we expect it to happen either today or tomorrow. And here's the scenario I'm looking at, guys. Here's a big, big, big scenario I'm looking at. So we had this uh, inverse head and shoulders pattern that we were looking at uh, a couple days ago. It was beautiful. It, it bounced back up to the upside. Um, and now we've come back down. Now, I was looking for the, the top of it to hold support. I was looking for basically the breakout, the retest, right? And then the continuation back to the upside. We've kind of slightly dropped below support, uh, slightly, slightly dropped below the neckline here. Um, still can say that this could just be a back test before we continue to the upside, because um, there are some interesting things, okay? So not only are we at this support down here for Bitcoin on the four hour time frame, if we go to the four hour time frame chart here, you guys can see that you got your four hour stock RSI that's coming down hot and heavy, looking to be bottomed out within the next four, couple four hour candles. You got actually got some bullish divergence forming on the four hour time frame as well, right? Uh, where is my tool, man? Where's my tool? Here it is. Uh, we got lower lower lows, right? One, two lower lows. We got higher lows coming in on price action. 
Okay, so we got some bullish divergence there for BTC on the four hour time frame. Stock RSI coming back down. And we're also right at a critical, critical, critical support for Bitcoin. All right, so I, when, I, when I look at this, like, I got to say that there's a better chance that Bitcoin actually gets a bounce here in the short term. Um, and then we kind of wait till tomorrow morning to see what the news is, if you know what I mean. Um, thanks for fixing the background play. The background. Oh, interactive. I got you, man. I got you. Uh, man, he can type. I think he's just copy and pasting, man. I think, he, <laughs> I think he's just going nuts. You know what I mean? I think he's just going nuts. No, but I do like Bitcoin to hold this general range for the short term, get a rise back up. Um, if we go to the 15-minute time frame, you guys can see what exactly what I mean here. Right? Bitcoin, uh, you got all these vector candles back up here to the upside. I still think it's more likely that Bitcoin gets a rise up somewhere in this range. You could get one more little dip right like this make some bullish divergence right some lower lows some higher lows on the 15 minute time frame that could be the point where you get the move back to the upside you take these candles up here and then you know <laughs> that could be over the course of today and then going into tomorrow we're kind of stuck in no man's land and we're kind of like all right what the hell is the news going to be tomorrow morning okay so that's what i'm looking at going to today if we just dump well you know, it, it is what it is. If we just dump, I mean, that, that just probably means that Bitcoin uh, wants it up. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest. Let's see. Ah, uh, the old prouncing praying mantis pattern. You know you love the praying mantis pattern, Drunk Bear. You know you love that, buddy. You know you love that. Uh, dude is a bot that got gifted a free membership last month. Is he? <laughs> That's awesome, man. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it does reward the people that type in the chat the most when it comes to the gifted membership. So it makes sense. If he's constantly spamming the regular streams, it makes sense why he gets a gifted membership. You know what I mean, guys? Uh, FOMO, then panic sell. Let me ask you guys in the chat. Uh, let's do a new poll. So I asked, I did the poll here. Does Bitcoin close tomorrow green or red? We got 54% of people said green, 46% of people said red. So... It's interesting, right? It's interesting. Are they using today to set up tomorrow? I would actually be very worried uh, about tomorrow if we were pumping today, okay? Like, if we were breaking out today, like, if we were 24K, bouncing back to the upside, like, significantly, I would actually be more worried than I am at the moment, even though we're, we're looking... We're looking uh, a little dicey right here on support here for Bitcoin. It's all about the close, though. We still got two minutes. Two minuto. All right, sorry, not two minutes. <laughs> it's not very long. Two hours until the four-hour close. So we got some time here to, to bounce back above this, which is, which is uh, quite frankly, awesome. The daily chart is what I'm looking at here, guys. What have, we, what have we been talking about for the last couple weeks? It's this daily RSI support level. Um... Samantha, is it real? No, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we've been talking about this daily RSI support level, guys. This is what we've been talking about. Look what Bitcoin is is, is attempting. I, I actually want to make this a little bit more legit because it's slightly off. Um, I mean, you could draw this significantly more ways. One, two, three. I mean, it depends how you want to draw this. I was drawing it to try to get as many touches as possible because we do like touches. Um, but you know, I, I will say this, if Bitcoin gets a daily close, this is probably the last way you could draw this to be any way bullish where you got one, two, three touches and we're coming back down to test this again. If Bitcoin closes the daily, right? Um, if Bitcoin closes the daily below this daily RSI support line right here, that's the point where I'm looking for Bitcoin to make, uh, maybe not new lows, but at least go down and test like the 20 K level. Uh, you know, 19, 20, 21K, you know, significantly lower levels, okay? That's that's the big level I'm watching here for. It does look like Bitcoin getting a move down as we speak. But right here is the big level I'm watching, man. Because because that because this, this these support levels have been the big points where Bitcoin's got huge dumps in the past. Right here, June 8th, we broke that daily RSI support level. What did Bitcoin do from there? Dumped. Right here. Uh, on April 5th, right on this candle right here, Bitcoin support that uh, broke that daily support level right here. What did Bitcoin do from that point? Dumped, all right? So that, that, that's the point where I probably get a little bearish uh, in the short term is if Bitcoin breaks this. And we, we probably end up doing something like this. Let, let me bring this down here. If that breaks, 
you see we got this rising wedge pattern, right? Rising wedges break to the downside 68% of the time. If this does close down here, okay, based off statistics, uh, you're most likely looking for Bitcoin to at least come and test. Uh, and I'm looking at this upward support level like this. Uh, if we take this like this, like, I think I had it like this before. Looking for Bitcoin to come back down and test this, which is back down to, uh, if we went straight down today, it's like 21,666. Uh, it's a good number. Two plus, two plus one is three, six, six, six. Uh, and then the next, and then the tomorrow is like 21.8. So uh, that's sort of the level I'm looking at. I'm going to keep it like this for now and see what we end up doing today, man. Well, we'll see what we end up doing today. I, I do think that, you know, don't get too paranoid until we see the daily close today because a lot can happen for the daily close. We can get a big wick down and then bounce right back up to the upside today. So don't get too down in the dumps as you like to say. Don't, don't, don't get, don't get tuned down in the dumps, man. I, I will say that. Everybody panic, we're going to zero. Don't be panicking just yet, as we're seeing Bitcoin break support. Wait for closes, man. Wait for closes. Wait for closure, all right? Don't be panicking because you're seeing this candle drop right now. Wait for the close. This could end up being a wick, all right? I, I, I will warn you. Maybe it, maybe it doesn't end up being a wick. I don't know, but it is what it is. Uh. Link is the top signal again. It's it's always the top signal, man. I, every time I don't want Link to be the top signal, and I'm like, all right, no, Link's not the top signal. Link pumping is not the top signal. And then Link ends up pumping, and I'm like, bro, I, I guess Link is the top signal. It's ridiculous. Um, Kennedy said, bro, 24K has only been teasing us. doesn't count. I guess it torture till CPI pump. My theory is we head to 26, 28K and double bottom off 17K. Yeah, I, I do think, Kennedy, I, I agree with you. I do think we test the lower levels again. Um, you know, I don't know if all the way down to 17K, but I, I can see a pump up. Um, let's, uh, let's do it right now. I don't know. But I, I can see higher prices and then coming down to test uh, the, 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 the 200 week SMA again, uh, further down the line. Uh, maybe, maybe not in, in anytime soon, but further down the line. All right, so Bitcoin's dumping here, 23.69. Let's see what Bitcoin does here, man. We're getting a little dumpy dump for Bitcoin at the moment. Let's go back over to our uh, dump screen here. Let me, let me test this out here. Uh, a little dump screen. Here we go, man. Bitcoin breaking support. <laughs> That's not funny, I guess. <laughs> it, it, I guess it's funny for all the people that want to buy lower. All right, here you go, man. 23.66. As we drink water in this uh, in the deep deep depths of the crypto abyss, uh, sh shortly down here, in the deep deep depths of the crypto abyss. Let me go back to the live main here. Uh, Twenty three sixty nine. It's not a good number. It's not a good number. Sixty nine. I like dump trucks. Yeah. All right. So 23, 23 fifty nine. Bitcoin is coming down here. Fifteen minute time frame is coming down hot and heavy. I will say about the fifteen minute time frame though. Um, you know, based off the RSI, which I do love the RSI, I will say. Momentum, it does look like Bitcoin's mooning to the downside. Ah, man, it looks like you're about to uh, disqualify this bullish divergence here on the 15-minute. Ah, man, <laughs> that's too bad. That's definitely, definitely too bad. Um, unless Bitcoin can wick back up here on the 15-minute time frame. Uh, I mean, this thing's painting vector candles to the downside quick. I got to assume this is setting up for tomorrow, man. You know what I mean? Here's, here's what I think, guys. Here's what I think. If Bitcoin dumps today, um, does that set up for us for a pump tomorrow? Let, let me know in the chat. Like, I, 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 here's what I would have thought. If everyone is, is, if the market makers are going to expect a bad print tomorrow, um, I don't know, man. Would, would they want to bring it to the upside to get people to, to, to long the day before and then, and then dump it tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe 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 they're getting ahead of the get ahead of it here. CPI fear, yeah, it is CPI fear. It was actually wasn't it the same thing during the um, wasn't it the same thing during the rate hike? When was the rate hike? The rate hike was right here, wasn't it? Uh, guys, can you can you remind me when the rate hike date was? Because I'm pretty sure we were we were, were we dumping into the rate hike and then we ended up pumping right after the rate hike, if I remember correctly. Let me know in the chat, man. I actually completely forget. <laughs> I forget what the date was. Wasn't it late? It was late July, wasn't it? 
Somewhere in this range. I, I, for, I forget. I forget. Dumping. July 13th, was it? Wow, I guess I'm way off. <laughs> uh, July 13th. Yeah, so July into the July 13th on the four-hour time frame. July 13th it was. Uh, but yeah, July 13th. Dumping down, okay? We, we were dumping into the Ray Hike, okay? And it looks like we pumped right after that, right? So you had fear going into it. You went down from... Okay, I thought it was the 26th. <laughs> I thought, that's what I thought. Uh, it was the same thing for the 26th, though. Right? I think this was the CPI date. You actually were doing this la the same thing the last two times. Look, look at this, man. Look at this. Look at this. It, it, you can't make this shit up. So you had the last CPI print right here. Let me bring this up. So on the 13th is the last CPI print. So right here was the last CPI print. Look what you did before that. You dumped into the CPI print on the four-hour time frame. CPI came out, you pumped, okay? Rate hike, you dumped into the rate hike in July 26th. <laughs> rate hike happened, you pumped, okay? Now, are we gonna see the same thing happen again? That's actually quite interesting. Um, quite, quite, quite interesting. That's actually, that's actually kind of dope. Are you gonna see the same thing again? Um, that's the question. Now, you could actually adjust this support line like this to actually take from the wick to this low to right here, right? Are we going to see the same thing again? CPI, pump. Ray hike, pump. We got the CPI coming out again. Are we going to pump again? Can we have an emoji? <laughs> Samant, <laughs> don't, don't spam my man. Don't sp I want you in here, man. Can we have emoji for horse guy? As long as you promise to stop spamming. Okay, if you promise to stop spamming, then yes, I can give you a horse guy emoji. But not if you're just going to come in here and, and spam the horse guy emoji. Okay? Um, don't, 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 don't be spamming, man. I, I don't want to have to get rid of you, man. I don't want to have to get rid of you. For, for permanently. Permanently. If you spam one more time... Okay, Samantha, Samantha, you're, you're hidden right now. If you, if you come in here and spam one more time, okay? Rant alert. I'm going to hide you from the chat permanently. Okay, so this is your last warning, Samantha. I don't want to do this to you. It's a beautiful Tuesday, okay? It's a happy Tuesday today. I don't want to have to ban you from the chat permanently, my man. <laughs> I don't want to have to do that to anyone. Uh, I wouldn't even want to ban Savvy from my chat, okay? Or Bob from my chat, or, or Java from my chat. Please don't do it, okay? Uh, <laughs> lock up spammers. This is your last chance, my man. All right, so 2317. <laughs> <laughs> Give him horse guy. Facts. All right, so twenty three thirty. Uh, you can actually redraw this like this. <laughs> That's mad. <laughs> That's facts. All right, so we can watch the fifteen minute time frame. Right, Bitcoin is coming back down. I, I will say this: it's coming down pretty hot. Pretty hot. We smacked that uh, inverse head and shoulders back test. Looks like it just wants to dump. I got to assume it's got to come back up, though. Right? M maybe it doesn't happen right away. Maybe we keep dumping for a little bit. But you know me, man. I got to assume it's going to come back up. Um, I'm going to redraw this support line the last way we can draw it, which is one, two, and, and to the absolute bottoms, which is that means Bitcoin can come back down to like 22.9 and still be above the support line. I got to assume it's going to come back up eventually to take this four-hour vector here. Okay. Now, maybe it doesn't do it right now, but let's see. Let's see what Bitcoin does. Uh, does it come back and test this this morning? Let's see. Like we said, the four-hour time frame, stock RSI is getting down there. We still got bullish divergence. Very, very slight bullish divergence. Very, very slight, actually. Almost slight work there. Uh, what's up, Nola? He said, who that Nola? What's going up, buddy? Uh, we had Budajik became a member. What's going on, Budajik? Good to see you, my man. Uh, <laughs> thanks for hanging out, buddy. Uh, I, I, I got caught in between the saying buddy and bro. I said, buddy, buddy. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. <laughs> I kind of like that, actually. I, I might make that the thing. I'm going to start the trend of buddy. What's going on, buddy? Um, shopping time. Facts. 22,993. You guys buy, you guys buy in this dip. Let me know in the chat. Are you guys buying the dip or are you holding out for lower prices? Let me know in the chat. Looks like Bitcoin is breaking down. 
I, I will say again, let's wait for the close today, okay? <laughs> let's wait for the close. But if it does close where it is right now, or any lower than it is, uh, man, we are right at that support line, man. We are right on that RSI support line for BTC. We're sitting right there. Let's check Ethereum. Yeah, man. Look at ETH. So the support line I was looking for ETH to hold is also breaking to the downside. Once again, wait for the four-hour close. We can still got two hours to the four-hour close. Uh, but you got one touch. You got two touches. You got three touches. ETH is breaking down to the downside as well uh, as we speak. All right? So keep that in mind. ETH is breaking to the downside. But it's the same thing as ETH. Same thing as Bitcoin on ETH, man. We look at Ethereum coming in here, hot and heavy. I also got to assume... That's gonna want to come back up and test these, okay? That's why I, I warn: wait for the four-hour close here, because I kind of assume it's gonna come back up and get these candles uh, at some point. Um, doesn't at the bear happen right now? It could be tomorrow in the bullish news, man. You know what I mean? Like a lot of what's gonna happen these next. Uh, I mean, today could just be set up for tomorrow. That's what I'm gonna keep saying. Godzilla, so look how many times we have to touch the 200 week. I don't know if we keep holding it. Uh, the 200-week moving average. Yeah, we, we're hovering on it right now, actually. We're hovering on it. We're building a strong base in the 200-week moving average right now. Very, very strong base. Let me see. This isn't a dip. Haven't bought the dip. Done 19K. There you go, Rico. Dumped on my ETH. We all want lower prices, no cap. It's facts. It's facts. We all do want lower prices. But <laughs> that, that, that makes me think, are we going to get lower, like significantly lower prices? Uh, because everyone wants lower prices. That's my thoughts. Um, when I say bought this dip, I meant at 17,886. Nice, Wayne. That's what I'm talking about. It's what I'm freaking talking about. I'm more so talking to the people that are, are sort of just sitting on the sidelines. You know, completely. Completely sitting on the sidelines. Okay? The all, should I buy now, folks? Should I buy now, folks? Because they, they, they don't seem to be in here anymore. And I know it's not a lot of you guys. A lot of people that are members have been here forever. You kind of understand the ins and outs of crypto and, and buying red candles and not green. But for all my homies that are outside outside the chat right now, okay? All you guys a couple days ago, you know, should I buy now? Should I buy now? Okay? The answer was no. Bitcoin is dropping. You're seeing all coins dropping like flies right now. Okay? But you want to be buying red candles. Doesn't mean that we... Listen... Doesn't mean that we can't go lower, but I think it's better buying now than it was a couple days ago when Bitcoin was at 24,200 a couple different times, okay? I will say that. Um, a couple different altcoins, because alts are coming down hot and heavy right now, it looks like. Uh, we got DOT coming down about 5%, so DOT's getting a nice pullback. Uh, I mean, everything is sort of pulling back. Nier's pulling back. ETH, Soul. Why don't, my, why don't my charts get jacked up, man? Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me fix this on little Solana here. On little Soul. Because they're all jacked up. They're all kind of jacked up, man. There we go. Yeah, Soul's coming back. A lot of these guys are probably testing these local supports. Chainlink's pulling back. I mean, obviously, everything's pulling back, man. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's why I want to stay on BTC. As long as BTC pulls back, uh, these alts are going to pull back. All right, so Bitcoin is is now testing the support that we want to hold, guys. 22,900 as we speak right now. We want to hold the support level, okay? This, this, is, this is the ascending triangle pattern support where you have one wick touch, touch back here in July 6th, and both of these points is when you got the news events, right? This was the last CPI print right here. This was the last rate hike right here. Now, we know we have the rate hike coming tomorrow morning. It's not a coincidence to me, man. So, let's see. Let's see if, if Bitcoin has the juice to hold this support level and get a bounce from this level, man. Okay? Because you're going to have all the horse guys coming. I know horse guys are in the chat right now. You know? I know they are. Oh, my God. The CPI is coming out tomorrow. We always dump on the news. We always dump. Just look at the last two times. We clearly dumped right here. We also dumped right here. Yes, we always dump on the news. I am going to panic sell my whole portfolio. Yeah, my whole portfolio is going to be gone. Because we always dump on these news events. 
<laughs> yeah, we always do. Hey guys, should I get some pizza or pasta today? <laughs> oh, no, I, 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 gotta, I gotta do horse guy in, in the beginning, man. I gotta do horse guy. Uh, his eyes. His eyes just scream, I'm crazy. And, and, and if I spend too much time with you, I'm probably going to kill you. That's what uh, horse guy's eyes tell me. Horse guy's German? <laughs> no, he's not German. He's Italian. He's Italian, man. Get it right. Horse guy is Italian, just like me. I am Italian, okay? Let's see. Uh, grab some doge. Let me see. Some doji. Where's doger? Doge is dropping. Doge is still, uh, like we said, man, Doge might be... We've been talking about Doge for the last couple of days. Obviously, the market's pulling back now. But yeah, Doge, I mean, I keep saying, man, if, Doge, if you want to pick up Doge, I don't hate the time to pick up some Doge. It's still at its relative, uh, at its relative low points, right? It's still down here. Now, like I said, if Bitcoin keeps dropping, you could see a test of this. I think Doge actually holds there. Assuming Bitcoin holds this support level right here, guys, because this is the, this is the big level that we got to watch there. Assuming that holds. Uh, total market cap, ah, man. See, that's why we got to wait for weekly closes too. So total market cap, we got the big wick above the 200 EMA. It was awesome. Now it looks like total market cap has come back down and gotten, uh, finding some resistance on total market cap here. I, I, I will say this, okay? That's why we got to wait for weekly closes. But if you look at this price action right here, okay, where we got that slight close above it, hallelujah, we got the close back above it, we got a big wick, uh, we started the week above it, but we ended up getting these, these two weekly candles right here. Still got a long week to go, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, I, I am not going to overreact to today, um, we still got a long week to go, we got obviously Wednesday, big day, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, but what we did in 2018, I will go back and look is this is what we did back in 2018, is we got a, we, we came back down to the 200, slightly below, okay? Um, just like we did in this current market, okay? We came back up, had a slight close above the 200 EMA, but then that next week was a doozy back down to the downside, okay? And we, which we came back down to the 200 SMA again, and then that was the start of uh, going back up to the upside, or the, the end of the bear market, right? So if we were to assume that, you know, we did the same thing again, okay? Let, let's just take a look at what we could look at. So if we do get rejected right here, and if tomorrow ends up being bearish, this is all, this is for my bearish folks out there. If tomorrow ends up being bearish and Bitcoin dumps, okay? Could we be seeing a retest of the 200 week uh, uh, SMA again on the total market cap? I do think we would, which would be about, about a 17% drop for total market cap from where we are right now. Okay, not just for Bitcoin, but for total market. That's for all my bearish folks out there. If I, I told you guys this, if Bitcoin breaks the daily support level right here in the RSI, okay, and breaks down from this rising wedge that it's currently in, I'm gonna look for total market cap to come and retest the 200 SMA, which would be a which would be a higher low from before. So that's fine, a higher low. You know what I mean? Uh, horse guy is deaf. <laughs> He's not deaf. He's not deaf. All right, Bitcoin, as we speak, is trying to hold up slightly here. Nothing crazy going on. Nothing crazy. We don't have any, still don't have bullish divergence on the 15 minute, which doesn't have to be. Um, definitely doesn't have to be. But right now, Bitcoin, as we speak, is holding this level. <laughs> we said that earlier, and Bitcoin just kind of dumped down to the downside, as we know. Everybody so, panic. We're going to zero. <laughs> we'll see if we continue to hold it. Uh, Ethereum, we know already broke down, but let's wait for the close. If Ethereum, if there's any way for Ethereum to cut to close uh, before 12 o'clock, or so before another one hour and 45 minutes, if there's another way for Ethereum to retrace back up here above about 1700 before the four hour close, all is fine in my eyes. All is fine in my eyes. So we're, we're going to continue to watch that going forward. Um, the stock market is coming back down, down about 0.48 percent today. Uh, NASDAQ down about 1.3%. Uh, yeah. this, this is what we... Why did all my... Why did all these charts get jacked up, man? It's so annoying, man. Trading view is freaking annoying, bro. God, man. So annoying, man. All right. 
But we, we, we did test this downtrend of resistance, right? One touch, two touches, three touches. And it, we'll say this again. Like, if the NASDAQ gets rejected from this again, which it has, right? We've seen this before. Slight deviation on the NASDAQ, we dumped. Slight deviation on the NASDAQ, we dumped. This time was a little bit more of a deviation, but we still got that deviation right off that resistance. Are we going to come back down again? Listen, we definitely could. We definitely, definitely, definitely could, man. We definitely could. Will Smith, that like button. Yeah, guys, Will Smith, that like button. Get up on stage, Will Smith, that like button, and then do a fake apology on camera. Come on, man. That's what you need to do. It's Will Smith, that like button, man. You know you want to. You know you want to. Um, <laughs> I need at least another 60 days to stack, building back up. Um, yeah, 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 listen, it is what it is. I actually want to go back to this real quick. Um, he, he, here's sort of my bearish scenario for the stock markets, guys. And if, if the stock market's done, Bitcoin will too, okay? Here's my little bit bearish scenario. So if we look at what we have here, okay? We still have this yellow vector candle on the S&P futures here. If we come back down and take this, here's like my slightly bearish slash uh, slightly bullish take, okay? So what do we got to start off here? Well, we got this left shoulder, we got the head, and we got, can we, if we do drop here, if we do drop and we come back down and take some of these lower levels, can we find support on this previous support again and come back, then come back to the upside? This is what we maybe could do in August, man. Maybe we do something like this because we do have this yellow vector candle right here. If we start moving back down and take that and then we start to round out through August, is that going to be the correlation where Bitcoin comes back down? All this actually kind of makes sense when you really think about it. This is obviously the, the bearish, the short-term bearish scenario. Is this left shoulder, right? The head, the right shoulder, which could be a bearish August. Does that mean that Bitcoin does something like this? Let me, let me, get, let me get this off here, chart here. Okay, this is the bearish scenario for all my bearish guys out there. Bitcoin drops from this wedge like this, comes back down, hits the me uh, measure move of the ri a falling wedge, maybe comes back down to 19K, 20K throughout August, um, and then gets that move to the upside, <clears throat> which would be the macro pattern that I look for, which is that W formation, right? That could make a ton of sense. And that, that would have a ton of correlation with what, what maybe the stock market could do, which is that left, that right shoulder rise to the upside. That, that's, that's, that's sort of the short-term bearish slash <laughs> medium-term bullish scenario still, right? So take that in mind. Bitcoin is bouncing from that, that current level though, as we speak. Like I said, I, I'm not fully convinced Bitcoin dumps here just because we've seen these dumps uh, before the news events in the past. We saw it in the last CPI data print. We saw it right here in the rate hike announcement. Uh, we had dumps before and then pumps right after the news. Dumps before, pumps right after the news. We're getting a dump before. Are we going to see the pump after the news? And we just keep making higher lows with same resistance on the top side every time, right? So it, it, I'm not fully convinced that Bitcoin's going to dump right now. I, I, I'm not, I'm not. But there's obviously my uh, my invalidation points as we like, do like to say. Uh, <laughs> keep the like button out your mouth. Just hit it. <laughs> Let's see. I want to Will Smith this chat, but I can't. Sumant, don't do that, buddy. Don't do that, man. Don't do it. <laughs> but can't promise, Jordan. DXY looks like a nice W. Yeah, the DXY, the bottom charts of DXY here, that bounced off the 50 EMA as well. Um, and we'll see, we will say every time the DXY bounced off the 50-day EMA, uh, Bitcoin's hit a local top. I'm not going to go through the whole chart again, but it did hit the 50 EMA right here. Uh, does that mean that Bitcoin's local detopped? And is ready for another downside move? We'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, Kennedy, what's going on, man? Always good times hanging out, drinking coffee, and scooping. Uh, and <laughs> I see what you said there. Scooping bottoms and hoping for time. I'll take profits if we get a rise for sure. What up, homies? Yeah, don't be afraid to take profits, my man. Don't be afraid to take profits. What's good? What are you guys up to right now? Let's see what you guys are saying in the chat. Everyone say hi in the chat. All the members say hi in the chat. Who's lurking? 
Who are the members that are lurking in the chat right now? I want to see you guys. Where's my lurkers at? I love my lurkers too. My, my lurkers are great. My lurkers are great. I can't wait till we get all the OGs back, right? When the, when the markets really start coming back up, when I start seeing a lot of the familiar names that were, were here back in, you know, the end of last year, I cannot wait till I see all the familiar names back, okay? It, it, you guys remember Devontae Duke? If you were here during the Devontae Duke days, let me know. If you were here during the Squiggy days, let me know. If you were here during uh, all the old names, man. There's all my lurkers. What's going on, buddies? <laughs> There's all my lurkers. There they are. There they are. Oh, man, look at all the lurkers. Chat's going nuts right now. No, but if, if, were you guys here uh, during those times? Bears here. Who, who's, who's some of the OG OG people from the stream you guys remember? I can't wait till they all come back. They'll, they'll be back when, when, when we're pumping again. Okay, they'll be back. It, they always come back. But uh, it is what it is. The Fashad days. Nice. Elmar was here. <laughs> I've been here slowly selling off the bags. I got below 21K ready for another dip. There you go, Alan. That's what I'm talking about, man. Don't be afraid to take profits on the bear market pumps. Until proven otherwise, it's still a bear market pump. Okay, we still haven't uh, broken. We still haven't got out of the woods yet. We still haven't crawled through that woods. Uh, and my eyes look like I'm still sleeping. Yeah, I'm generally not really a morning person. Uh, I'm more focused during the morning, but as far as you know, me being animated, not in the morning. Definitely more animated at nighttime. Definitely, definitely, definitely. You guys probably noticed that. <laughs> Screw those guys. We're here now. Exactly. And I will say, the people who are here during the bear market are going to be the true winners, man. Not the people that just come back uh, when the market starts pumping again. Right? That, that, that's the simple fact. Simple fact. The people who are paying attention to crypto now are going to be learning the most lessons. Why? It's not even, It's not even, dude, it's not even being invested in crypto. Obviously, that's going to help too. I, I do think time in the market beats timing the market always. Um, the longer you're in crypto, the more successful you'll be. But it's also the people that are paying attention to the markets right now, learning, okay? Because the people who aren't paying attention are just going to do their own things during times like this are not learning, okay? You're not learning the downside possibilities. You're not learning risk tolerance. You're not learning, um, you know, to sort of control your emotions during times like this. You're not learning that. So all that's going to happen if you leave the crypto space right now, if you leave the investing space right now. All that's going to happen is when the bull market starts again, you're going to have the same bad habits that you did last time. Okay? That's all it is. You're not going to learn any lessons. So that's why everyone who's here right now and is still paying attention to the crypto market is going to be the most ready when the market really starts to move back to the upside. Because you're going to learn so many lessons during this freaking bear market. Um, you're just going to learn so many things, man. And it's... it's, it's uh, it's awesome. So everything what I see in here, I know is going to be the true winners in the next market because you're still freaking here now, despite the absolute carnage. And I told you guys this, the last three months for crypto, I saw this on Georgia's stream, actually. The last three months for crypto have been the worst three months percentage wise uh, that Bitcoin has ever seen. So if you were able to get through the last three months, you have freaking killed it. Actually, I think it was April, May and June were statistically the worst three months ever 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 that bitcoin has ever experienced okay if you don't believe me go look it up okay from april from the beginning of april to the the middle of june we dropped about 62 percent. that's a carnage th three months man that ain't no joke that ain't no joke man you, you you've been through it doesn't mean we can't go keep going lower, but I mean, you've been through a 60% three month period to the downside. That teaches you some emotional control and, and, and being ready for anything in this market, man. That's it. That's it. Uh, all right. What's going on, Manny? The OGs. Exactly. The OGs, man. The friggin' OGs. I'm not missing out this time. I don't care if it takes five years. Dude, it's, it's, I'm telling you right now, I, I, I know this is what not, people don't want to hear, but I truly believe it's going to, I actually truly believe that this bear market's going to play out pretty similar that we saw in 2019. Uh, but really 2019, 2020, I, I think it's going to play out pretty similarly where 
the bottom's gonna look something like this, which is <laughs> kind of what we're forming right now on the two week, man. I do think it's gonna be playing out something like this. Shout out to Art, though. Art, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> Good to see you. Um, but it, it, so far, it's played out. I do think you're gonna see something like this, where you're gonna see one more drop to the downside at some point, wh whether we continue up, you know, tomorrow on the news, we come up to maybe 27, 28K, and then we come back down. Or if, we, if the news is bad tomorrow, you know, the next two months are slightly bearish. We come back down to like the 19, 20K level, and then we come back up. I truly believe that you're going to see something like this play out over here, wherever it is. And then we're going to see, I, I think, whenever the Fed flips, so I do think the Fed will flip by the end of this year. That's when we're going to see that rally like we saw back here in 2019. Maybe not like this. I mean, this was about a 5X. I don't think we see a 5X. But I do think we see some type of rally where you could maybe see Bitcoin get back up to like 40K, you know, a pretty significant rally and see all coins go nuts and, and, and all the fun stuff, right? Maybe like a 14, 40K rally and then maybe we, we start to slowly come back down um, and, and then we kind of get, get close to the halving and we start, you know, bouncing our way back to the upside, okay? Uh, I do think it's going to be something like that and I will say, uh, just, just, listen, I was accumulating down here, but I didn't accumulate as much as I wanted to. Uh, looking back at it, I, I wish I just, you know, bought more. And, and I'm not going to make that same mistake this time. I do think wherever we are in this range right here, from now until 2024, is going to be the golden age. Uh, and really really an opportunity that you don't want to miss. Wherever we go, right? Whether we go to 14K, 10K, you know, whether we come back up to the upside... Anywhere in this range, I, I do think it's going to be a absolute uh, f fantastic, life-changing opportunity, man. Where, you know, you, in, in theory, if it plays out like every four-year cycle, what investment based off, of, based off the past can you accumulate and you can expect massive returns after two years, right? Based off the, the Bitcoin halving and what usually happens after the Bitcoin halving. Not really any asset you can think of. And, I, and this time, I'm not going to make that same mistake. I am going to have, um, obviously, money that I can afford to lose, where if I lose it, I'm fine. But the money that I can afford to lose, I will be having in crypto this time. I'm not going to make that same mistake, man. Uh, which is buying some, but not believing in my gut about based off what happens every four years, man. I'm not. All right, so, so far, so good. Bitcoin is bouncing off that support line, man. This. Fed flips six to 12 months? Find out. <laughs> we have no idea. Just my guess. Oh, man. Wayne said, uh, pretty pretty confident we hit six figures between Q4 2022 and Q2 2025. Big window. I can, I can agree. You, you, we, no one has any idea when. But it shouldn't matter when. If you believe it's going to happen within the next three to four years, who the frick cares when, man? You're not going to find any other asset that can do that for you. So who gives a shit if you have to wait three years? Where are you going to put that money? Okay, That's my whole point, but you guys do what you want to do. Uh, anyways, um, this is... Dude, I'm just excited for what's to come. I mean, we could talk about short-term price action all we want. Uh, I, I tell you guys this occasionally. Like, I'm just excited for what's to come because I, I know what's came uh based off this boring grueling bear market period that we're in right now i know what comes after that and that, that that's the exciting part because i do think we've gotten through the worst of it can we go lower yes but i do think we've gotten through the worst of it which is nice uh set it and forget it set it and freaking forget it man it, it just only invest money. The, the, the key with that is only invest money you can afford to lose. Where if Bitcoin drops to 10K over the next couple of weeks to months, you got to be okay with that. Okay, if you're not okay with that, picture that in your head. The big thing is you got to picture it in your head. If you can picture Bitcoin, ready? I'm gonna picture it right now. Bitcoin dropping to 10K. Okay, would I be pissed off? I mean, I necessarily wouldn't be pissed off because I can buy more. Um, but I, mean, I, I'm, I would be okay with that. Okay, because I have a I have a price that I would sell it at. So who who cares right now if Bitcoin's at 23k, 30k, 10k? Besides seeing the money in my portfolio higher, in reality, it's just unrealized gains, anyways. So why do I care if Bitcoin's at 30k or 10k right now? I don't give a shit. Because either way, I'm not going to be selling a majority of it, anyways. So who gives a shit? It's just a it's just a organic number in the portfolio, anyways. So who cares short term where it is? You know what I mean? 
And sometimes I even have to remind myself of that. It's like, who gives a shit where Bitcoin is in the next two to three months? <laughs> it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. In reality, the price going lower is actually better. You know what I mean? Anyways, it is what it is. Uh, 2337. So Bitcoin's still just chilling. Um, I will say this, man. You still got these vector candles up here. Uh, you still got this one right here. You still got the four hour vector candles back up here, right? On the four hour time frame. I still got to assume it comes back up and takes this. And this, this move down, I will say it again, could just be setting up for tomorrow, right? Let, let, let me ask this. Um, is the C, uh, will we pump or dump on the CPI tomorrow morning? Let me ask you guys in the chat. Will we pump or dump on the CPI print tomorrow morning? I'm going to ask you guys in the chat, man. There we go. Nobody can afford losing money. Uh, I think people can. I think, I, 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 here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say. The people who have money that, that they, can, they, they, they can afford to invest are people that have money that they can afford to lose, okay? I, I will say it again. People who have money that they can afford to invest have money they can afford to lose. People who don't have money to invest are, are people that don't have money they can afford to lose. That's why they don't invest, right? So, I mean, think about it that way. If you have money that you can throw into an asset other than cash, you have money that you can afford to lose because you wouldn't throw it in there anyways. You know what I mean? Think about it that way. Uh, and you, you got to have a little risk tolerance. If you want to make money, you can't just be playing it safe all the time, man. You, you can't. You got to risk it for the biscuit if you want to make money in any market. You can't just be like, you know what? The Fed is bearish right now. I'm going to wait to 10K because it's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. I'm going to wait to 10K. That's what I'm going to do. I'm too scared to buy right now. I'm too scared. The bottom will never be comfy. The body will, the, the, the bottom will always try to fake you out. The bottom will always try to scare you out of the market. It's not just going to be rainbows and sunshines. Oh, the bottom is in. Woo. The bottom is in. This is awesome. Whoa. Isn't the bottom so comfy? Oh, we're going to chill here for a few months and then we're going to go up. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you're not you're not just gonna be like chilling at the bottom like oh my god this is great no you're gonna be fearful the whole freaking time as you're holding everything you have at the bottom you're gonna think it's gonna go lower at the bottom that's what you're always gonna think holy moly man people just think we're gonna hit the bottom it's gonna go yeah woohoo woohoo <laughs> no that's not how it is man get that thought out of your head People have you brainwashed in this market to think that it's, you're just going to hit the bottom and you're you're just going to be 100% the bottom every single time. No, no one has any idea where the bottom is in. It, you got you to gotta risk it for the biscuit sometimes, man. That's why I believe in slowly buying as you go down and buying at key levels and not just trying to throw everything you have at one price point. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what it is, man. Uh, comfy at the bottom, long ETH at 800. <laughs> I mean, you are. I mean, if you if you're if you bought ETH at 800, which a lot of us did. Listen, man, you are feeling comfy right now. You're up 2x from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have a lot of leeway now. And that's why I, I I firmly believe that a lot of people who want the prices to go lower are people that didn't take advantage lower and they want a second chance. It's as simple as that. Is Bitcoin gonna give them a second chance? It usually does. I will be fair. To be fair, but who knows? Who knows? Uh, anyways, <laughs> you guys want the the mouse character? Listen, I, I do like the mouse character. Actually, I'm going to add the mouse character. i got to find a good mouse, though. You know why? Because the mouse guy, just see, it's going to be comfy at the bottom, man. He, he does. Jordan was an improv actor in his own life. Only for you guys. Only for you guys. Uh, definitely only for you. If you don't get pain in your stomach when you buy, you paid too much. That's actually fact. That's a really good rule to go by. If you're buying and you feel skeptical about your buy on the way down, you're going to be better off than because because think about it this way: when you FOMO into the market, you're feeling good. You're like, yes, I'm 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 buying right now. Market's going up. Hell yeah, this is going back up to the upside. But when you buy when the prices dump, you feel like shit, man. You feel like shit because you feel like you bought and you're just going to keep going lower and you made a terrible decision. 
It's it's funny how the how the mind works, isn't it? Like you want to buy at higher prices. Your mind is like tricking you to want to buy at higher prices. But when the prices are falling, your mind's like, no, it's going lower. But but when the it, your mind just play games on you. Everything's just psychological. It's actually crazy when you think about it. I know I'm just I'm really just ranting this morning because really we're waiting. The big guys, I'm gonna be honest. The big thing we're waiting for is tomorrow. If we're going based off the two previous news events, we dump before, we pump after. We dump before, we pump after. We're seeing it right now. Okay, the last two days we've been dumping. Okay, we dumped so far today. Market's down a pretty good amount today. We have some altcoins down five, six percent here. Um, ETH is down five percent. You're seeing some good pullbacks today. If we go based off what happened last time, we did pump after, but a lot of it is just waiting till. 8.30 tomorrow morning, it gets leaked usually before, uh, but 8.30 tomorrow morning, it's what we're really waiting for. And th 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 that's the key here. That's the key. I'm not going to even bother really looking at altcoins because they're going to do what Bitcoin does here in the short term, if I'm going to be honest, man. Uh, we'll, we'll check them out tonight if Bitcoin can get a bounce, which I do think it'll get a slight bounce here and come back up and test a little bit higher levels just because it is at a key support. you got vector candles to the upside uh, and same thing for Ethereum, right? Um, we're waiting for the uh, Ethereum 4-hour close. You are getting a white vector candle here, which means that you're seeing a little bit of stop in volume on, on ETH here right at support, which is awesome. If ETH can retrace back above about 1,700 before the 4-hour close, it's just it just came back down to test the support, got a wick below, and held, okay, which is awesome. So let's wait for the, let's wait. We got one minute and 20, sorry, one hour and 22 minutes into the ETH close. Once again, if it gets back above 1,700, I think that is actually a great sign with the white vector candle. And maybe we can uh, come back up to the upside after that, all right? And take this red vector candle right here, all right? So that's a lot of basically what we're looking at today. Stock markets are still coming back down. It's sort of the one thing I'm, I'm, I'm slightly, a little bit skeptical of the stock markets because we do have some levels down here. Um, but a lot of it depends on the news tomorrow, man. I mean, the, the, the market's not going to care that we have to come back down to the downside and take some of these if, if the news comes out nice tomorrow. You know what I mean? Let me see. Uh, will we pump or dump on the CPI tomorrow morning? 56% said pump. Okay, so 56% of some people said pump. I will say this. Last time we did those polls, a lot of people were expecting dump and it pumped. So, that's fine. <laughs> Does anyone really know? No, that's why the markets are so, uh, markets are so uh, crazy, man. Let's see. I definitely need chance just based on UST though. Yeah. Just like that, new character mouse guy rises from the ashes. <laughs> Facts, man. A new character was invented 8 9 2022 at 1034 a.m. <laughs> I like mouse guy, man. I do. Mighty bullish if you think Bitcoin is going to pump to six digits. Recession, excessive money printing equals gun go down. We'll see, Dave. We'll see. Uh, I, I, dude, I, it might not happen now, but I do think over the next couple of years. Who knows? Who, who knows when it's going to happen? To me, it's not about when. Um, even at second chance that time, they are sure it will break even lower. Facts. And then the, <laughs> that's how the market works, man. And that's why even the people waiting for a second chance, they're not going to take advantage of it because they're going to think it's going to go to 14 and 10K when it comes back down. You know what I mean? Like if, if Bitcoin does dump tomorrow, you know, it comes back down to 21, 20, the people that were waiting, I want a second chance. If it comes back down to these levels, 80% of those people will not will not take advantage of that second chance. They won't. Because there's a reason why they didn't take advantage of it over here. Because they thought it was going to go lower. <laughs> Same reason why they won't take advantage of it right here, because they, th they think it's going to go lower. Maybe it does. Who knows? Wayne said, not for everyone, but I borrowed 50K from 401K a couple of years ago and put it into Bitcoin. I canceled my monthly con contribution and replaced it with my loan payment. It worked out very well. There you go, Wayne. It's, it's all about having patience. Bitcoin's going to have minus 60, 70% years, okay? But then it's going to have a year that just completely nullifies that. You know what I mean? <laughs> so people, I mean, I, I remember 2018, 2019, 2020, Bitcoin will never have a parabolic run again. Bitcoin will never. Do you see it? There's no adoption. And it went from 3K to 69K. Okay. Ethereum sucks. Ah, woohoo! 
ETH goes from $60, 60 to 4800 okay? So uh, you're going to hear the same shit again. Oh, oh. <laughs> it'll, it'll be the same thing again. I keep adding my bags and the dips. Thanks, Kenny. Just make sure you're buying supports, man. Buy supports. Don't buy resistances. That's it. Um, NFT Boogie said, I don't know. Last two CPI have been bad and we pumped. This one I think is is going to be good and, and we're going to pump and dump if I had to guess. <laughs> it's an interesting take. I, I, I kind of agree with it, though. Kind of agree with it. Um... It's exactly the same when prices are going up. It's hard to sell because you think it's going to go up forever. That's facts too. And I was guilty of that. And that, that's why these markets right now are so good at teaching you lessons, man. They're so good at teaching you lessons. That don't be greedy to the upside and don't be greedy to the downside. You can be greedy both ways. Don't be greedy. Okay? Do not be greedy. And this is sort of a, uh, an overall overview. Like, just, just, just say this happens. Something like this happens again, okay? Uh, right. Let's just say you know Bitcoin, blah, 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 and then it starts coming back up, just like over here. So it just act like this is our current market. If Bitcoin starts doing like something like this again, make sure on the way up, you know, TP, TP, take profit, take profit, take profit, take profit, take profit, take profit. Don't be trying to wait for the freaking top because what's going to happen is you're going to get super greedy. You're going to see all that money coming in, okay? When, when Bitcoin's right here, you're going to think, oh, it's guaranteed to come up here. And then it's going to come back down. You're not going to take as much profit as you want it to, right? TP, 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 TP. Just like on the way down, okay? If you flip the chart, right? You don't even have to flip the chart. It's at your current market right now, right? DCA, 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 DCA. When the market comes back up, TP, 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 TP. Buying the way down, selling the way up. It's that easy, I man. It just it's we, we try to make it so difficult, but it's not. You know why? Because I think a, a lot of us we just have some greed, man, and we don't want to take profits. We don't want to DCA on the way down, okay? But in reality, if you just stuck to your plan, which is take profits at key resistance levels on the way up and buy at key support levels on the way down, <laughs> at the end of the day, that's going to be the winning strategy. Trying to time the top and bottom, I think it what gets a lot of us in trouble. Just like in the bull market, everyone called for 100K, 200K, including myself. You know what I mean? That got me in a little bit of trouble. If I just took profits at you know 20K, 25K, 30K, 35K, that would have been the way to go. You know what I mean? And that's why we all we all learn from that. We all take a nice learn from that. Uh. Forget TP. <laughs> Not toilet paper. Not toilet paper. Uh, YouTube's going to think I'm talking about toilet paper in the stream. TP, TP, TP. All right. All right, guys. All right. All right. All right. So I think we, we pretty much talked about what we want, want to have today. Just to recap going into later. Um, let's watch where Bit what Bitcoin does from this point. This could be a point Bitcoin gets a bounce. We want to see Bitcoin get a bounce from this point. We get a four-hour close anywhere below. Okay, here's what I'm watching for today. If we get a four-hour close anywhere below, I'm actually going to say that the 200 EMA, it's actually right at that point. Uh, anywhere below currently 22,736, uh, which we're about $250 above that right now. That's not going to be looking good for uh, at least the short term. And I will be looking at slightly lower prices if we close anywhere below 22,736. All right. So we'll watch that level going into tonight. Uh, I'll see you guys at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, make sure you guys are there. And uh, if I don't see you, don't do anything I want to do. Don't panic sell your crypto. Most of all, don't panic sell your crypto. But make sure you take profits on, until proven otherwise, the bear market pumps. All right. Catch you guys later. Hit the like button before you go. Subscribe if you're new. Adios. Peace out.